Aylin Horton Tucker has agreed to a three-year, $32 million deal to stay with the Lakers. THT showed flashes during his second season with the team, averaging 10 points and close to four assists post-All-Star break. Guys, I think this is big. Yes. He's a homegrown guy. Lakers drafted him in the second round. He's still only 20 years old. He was a priority for them, and the Lakers got him. Uh, how important was that, Brez? Because you and I spent a lot of time on these off-season shows talking about what kind of money is he going to demand? Will they be able to match it? You know, during a lot of these shows, to me it was always an either-or mm -hmm. with, with THT or Alex Caruso. Two young guards, obviously THT very young, 20 years old. Which one is going to end up with the Lakers? And THT made more sense. A, he's restricted free agent, and B, his ceiling is higher than Alex Caruso. Caruso, decent offensive player, shot 40% for three-point range last season. But THT, you know, he saw some stuff towards the end of the season. 24 points against Utah, 23 against Houston. And you start to think, what can this kid really deliver? He's so young. Uh, some of the guys that were drafted this year were, were a couple years older than this kid. So this makes a lot of sense. I think it's a good number for the Lakers, you know, a little over 10 million a year. I think it's a pretty good number for THT, too. The guy would have made about... Changes uh, your life. Yeah, he, he made about a million this past season. So anytime you go 10x in salary, uh, that, that's a pretty good day for you. You know what else helped the Lakers? Mm. That no other team came and threw a lot of money at THT. And that's what I think we were all worried about going into that was this process. a little bit of a surprise. Exactly. Yeah. That was a surprise. But that's because teams were trying to get... Kyle Lowry, so the, yeah. the Mar the Rosens of the world, yeah. and they maybe they overlooked him, but the Lakers had to be, feel very fortunate that he was willing to accept this contract. Yep. Obviously, he wanted to stay here at 20 years old, as you said. 20 is improving. What he's really got better at Brazil hand that I love. He's starting to concentrate more on defense. Yeah. Because with his long arms mm -hmm. and his... He was playing great basketball at the time. And as we reminded everyone at the start of the show, just the second time really in his career that he had an injury that took the toll on his body as this one did this season. But you think back to that first one in a Laker uniform, the groin injury, and the long offseason that followed and what that did for LeBron. You can only imagine what this offseason will do for him as well. Yeah, I don't know if he's ever had three months. I yeah. mean, a full <laughs> three months. I mean, that's... That could get boring to him, but I know LeBron, uh, as we've known him in the past, he takes advantage of every opportunity. And having this time off, and I got to tell you, uh, the entire league will, you know, really enjoy this time off. Coming out of the bubble, uh, uh, Brez, that quick 71 days, I mean, uh, off before they had to return. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, multiple injuries throughout the league. Uh, I, we, I think, you know, a little bit had to do with that quick turnaround. So having three months off uh, for LeBron James, who knows how to take care of his body and puts a lot of emphasis and science and, and theory into uh, taking care of his body so that he can withstand, uh, you know, what he's going to have to withstand throughout the season, I think it's going to be benefit him more than any other player in the league mm -hmm. with his talent and his age to get that kind of uh, rest in there. Yeah, 37 mm. in yeah. December for young LeBron James. Uh, I'm with you, James. Um, if he has anything uh, like, like this offseason, like he did two years ago during that offseason, I'm sorry, the rest of the NBA, you're in trouble. <laughs> because he was so strong during that championship run, uh, missed only a handful of games, four games that season. I mean, he was really on point. He was healthy. The, the long offseason two years ago really did him uh, well. And I think this could be a little bit of a, a duplication of that. Maybe not quite as long time-wise, but still. Uh, I, I expect really good things from him. And you know he's going to target that lower body, ways to strengthen it, ways that, even though it was a freak injury, uh, kind of look at ways to kind of prevent uh, sitting out as much time as he did after that injury. And as we know, he may not be playing in the playoffs right now, but he's finding ways to, to hear things. Oh, yeah. yeah. To see he's what's listening. going on for that extra motivation. Adding to the fire there. Yep. We're back with more of the best of LeBron after the break. Plus, we'll look back at his top 10 plays of the season for the Purple and Gold. And then three, you know, I got a couple more years, then you go to final seven years. It's literally like the Godfather trilogy, to be honest. Back on Access, as we look back at the best of LeBron's 18th season this year, he was selected to the All-NBA second team, marking an All-NBA record. 17 All-NBA selections for LeBron in his career. On the second team, he was joined by Damian Lillard, Chris Paul, Julius Randle, and Sixers big man, Joel Embiid, as I just mentioned, this year's selection marks his unprecedented 17th consecutive All-NBA honor, which is an NBA record. This is LeBron's fourth time on the second team to go along with 13 All-NBA first team selections. Big game. Just incredible. Yeah, I mean, 
17. over a career to achieve, you know, uh, being on the first team and, you know, second team's not bad because as you you saw that, that those five players, yeah. that's a pretty good second team. So, good company. Uh, it almost like you have two first teams. Uh, but, yeah, LeBron, you know, just continues uh, to amaze people with his longevity and his production and the way he comes back. You know, it kind of reminds me of, I mean, like Kobe. He comes back every year with something new and exciting. He, he never, you know, takes a step back. Uh, and it's going to be 37 Braz and just continues to set an example uh, for these young players on, on how to be a professional and how to be productive. Ali said it best, unprecedented. I mean, the fact that he is, again, on an uh, all-NBA team. And I'm sure if he really thinks about it, if he really cares about these things, I'm not sure he does. He'd rather be first team, of course. But the fact that he missed so many games, 27 this season, that's more than a third of their schedule. So I think the second team seems like a pretty fair spot for the guy. Had he stayed healthy, had, had Solomon Hill, there's that name again, not crashed into him, no doubt he would have been first team all NBA for what, the 12th yeah. time of his career? Whatever it's, number it is, it's a big number. I was going to say, unfortunately, you have to draw the line somewhere. At some point, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, on any given night, that second team could beat the first team, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I'd love to be teammates with Dame and, and, and Bede. Some good talent right there. Good perspective there. Uh, big game. We're going to break down some of the Kings' top plays with a little Axis 360. Yeah, LeBron, uh, the leader of this team, uh, you know, straight that he's the king. Jabbing to death. Loved it. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Do we think that there will be a shift to LeBron's game? It's crazy to think that before that injury, as we have continued to say, it didn't look like he was slowing down, but here he is, approaching 38, season 19. Mm. Magic has said he feels like he should come off the ball, maybe take a step down, have another playmaker beside of him. Or do we see the same LeBron James that we have been seeing, ball dominant? <sighs> I agree with Magic that I, I and, and sometimes we saw it with Schroeder and uh, Caruso at times, but I, but I must say for what I've seen in, in LeBron's uh, uh, career, this brother don't know how to change. <laughs> he don't know how to change, man. He don't know how to do one thing, and that's win. Yeah. And that's I, I don't I don't see him making too much change. Uh, you know, just what he does. He he makes it a point that look, I take care of my body. I I trust my my workout. And that's what he goes to, and that goes to his mind, that he's okay to do uh, what he does best, and that's dominate. Uh, he was quick. He was explosive uh, this year, uh, playing with a bunch of young 20-year-olds. Uh, didn't lose a step. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I, when I think of a guy like uh, Kobe Bryant, that's a guy who really refined his game mm -hmm. as he got older, uh, started doing more fadeaways, starting kind of going about the, uh, the arc a little bit more, not as much of a driving force. But I'm not sure LeBron's going to do that. Uh, by the way, he still already has uh, some great fadeaway game. We just saw a bunch of clips right there. I'm like, there's a nice fadeaway. There's a nice fadeaway over and over. And LeBron already has good three-point range. I'm with James. I think he just keeps going right from, from X to Y, the shortest distance between two points, right to the basket. And I, I don't think he's going to change that much. Was he giving us a little glimpse? He had the baby hook out a little bit, a impressive. little bit this year. Yeah. Maybe he goes down to the post a little bit more. <laughs> well, you know, I, I think he realizes, uh, you know, he's still going to be ball dominant. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Sure. He's going to be ball dominant. And Allen, when he's in the post, uh, he, I think he's very effective down there as a passer and as a finisher. No yeah. He can get it done. That's nice. As we head to break, we take a look at the league's all-time assist list. LeBron currently sitting at eighth all-time after averaging 7.8 assists this season. LeBron will enter next season with Oscar Robertson in distance and Magic Johnson also in view. Big numbers for the kid from Akron. Stay tuned. We're back with more of the best.